Hey guys, welcome back to YS10 Nordics. Um, so we just unlocked side quest, and I, I wonder if there's a way I'd actually see. Probably journal, right? Adventure. Chapter three. Uh, to right. No, this isn't it. Oh, quest. Here we go. So from what I remember, side quests disappear as you proceed with like each chapter. So if you miss it, you can't do it unless you replay the entire game. Um, which is why. It's typically like super important to do every single side quest if you're after like a completionist run. Um, if you don't care about being a completionist, then uh, it doesn't matter to you. But uh, for me, I do care um, because usually in a YS game, if you do like 100% completion, you have like some special rewards, uh, which is why they have like this, you know, discovery rate and all that stuff. It's just for you to get like the 100% completion thing. So it doesn't always mean like you have to explore every nook and cranny. Um, as you can see, like Bauta Island is already at 100% completion, even though I have like some of this gray smoke stuff here. Um, I think it's mainly just you have to explore most of the town. Like it's it's like 90, 80, 80, 90% or like 95% of the map, um, not 100%. So there is some leeway there. Um, but anyways, I'm used to seeing like some crazy good uh, rewards from doing these side quests so I feel like it's always important to get them finished worse oh upgrade I think it's probably like weapon upgrades now right reforging haha basic beast parts oh okay strength and gear Oh, that is going to help me so much. Bartering? Oh. Okay, for let's some do weapons. that. Enhanced weapons. Uh, I need leather beast parts. Okay, serve you well. Oh, I can upgrade it more than once. Real quality stuff, huh? Yo, May that's it serve good. You well. Real I can quality upgrade her stuff, armor. Huh? Oh, I can upgrade it twice. That's Anything it. Oh, I'm already want? maxed out. Uh. Oh, there was new stuff. I should have... Check before I upgrade it. May it serve you well. Real quality stuff, huh? Uh, let's see. Frostbite afflicted, burn afflicted. Oh, these are good for. This is good for um. Arja, and then this is good for Adol. Wait, why do I see like a third? Like to me, the screen looks like there's enough room for you to have like one more character. Oh, wow! This is way better. Fifty-nine plants for one of these. Real and... quality stuff, huh? Yeah, let's Real buy this for her. Stuff, huh? Boom! Anything one else? of each. Uh, I can upgrade, so let's Real do it. quality stuff, huh? Oh, I don't have enough beast I'll parts. Be... I used it all up. Switch. Okay. Switch. You know, let's explore the world a little bit, yeah. like before going exactly like right back to uh, the ship. Oh, actually, never mind. Yeah, there's nothing to explore. Switch! 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 How about here? Oh no, this is just a building. Okay. Shop has shop icon, so I have to be sure to take an, keep an eye out for that. Oh, there's another shop then. Oh, what's in this one? Uh, okay, Welcome. shop general store by male Norman attire. Oh, costumes. You know, this is like inflict poison. That sounds like it could be pretty good. Was there huh. come back soon? You know, I thought there would be like healing items, but no. How am I supposed to get healing items if like if I use a healing item, I lose the bottle, right? Does that mean I have limited heals? Hmm. Yeah. Get the materials. Perfect yeah. timing. Oh, okay, so I can upgrade the ship. I wonder how many uh how many upgrades there are. What do you okay, have to so today? ship refits and training, rapid shell. I can upgrade the rapid shell. Looking for it. Look at that. Gotta fit the artillery? What? What do you have to do? Oh, ship loadout. I thought I could, like, refit it by actually, like... 
There's only 15 shots? What the heck is this? Oh, it's like an actual character. That's cool. Looking for see ya. Your hunt, hunt. I Okay, so I want to know what kind of things I can upgrade. Air kit to repair the ship. Special projectiles. Uh, am uh, limited ammunition. Replenish by conquering the ship at any island. Oh, okay. Repair kits. Oh, that's gonna make the game easier because I can repair today? stuff now. That's good. That's good. Uh, and this is like letting me refit. Oh, but I can only pick one out of three, which is kind of annoying. I might have to eventually go with HP and defense because I need to be Looking like a little bit tankier. Uh, right now, I'm like super squishy. Looking back. Okay, wow. Plants is are plants are actually like super important because it seems like that's the only thing that you can barter with right now. Uh, room cabin edit. Exploring the ship. Let's see if you utilize various facilities. Control ship return to home. Oh, the ship is like a mobile base. That is cool. Okay, so there's weird red stuff on the sea. How big is the map? Uh, pretty big. Is this... Okay, so I can't fast teleport to there, but I can to Lecto Island, so I can revisit... Wait, I missed the treasure chest? No way. I missed something? Oh wait, what the heck is this? This is an area we didn't go to. Okay, I'm gonna go and teleport okay, there. Should be... let's go! Yes, I can. Okay, that makes it Let's much better to tra breath. travel. I, I I was afraid that like it would be super slow to travel, like the different areas of the map uh, or or the game. But it seems seems like it's super convenient. Like you can just easily go anywhere you want, super instantaneously. So that's good. Um. Hmm. So I, I do want to be like a completionist, so I am going to like revisit areas where I didn't get like a complete um, of all the items. Because this game, YS usually has like a lot of different uh, areas. So if you leave it to the end, you're going to spend a lot of time backtracking. So I try to complete each section where I didn't complete it in fall um, as soon as I realized that I missed something. So I will be just revisiting this area again a little bit, uh, just to see how to like, complete that um, map. I, I don't know if it's something that I can immediately access though, so like I'm just giving it a try, and if I manage to do it, great. If I don't, um, I will move on. Because um, I'm, I'm getting the feeling that it might be something that you unlock later. Because I, I, I really did explore the entire thing. The only thing I can think of is maybe this room because I couldn't figure out how to get to the top level. So maybe that's where one of the chests is and I, I should probably go there. Keep in mind I'm playing on Inferno so I might die a hundred times or something. I don't know. It's been uh, very rough. Um, but now that there's upgrades, as long as I pre-farm a little bit to like make sure I'm upgrading my stuff immediately, that should be a little bit better because I, I feel like I'm significantly tankier with the upgraded uh, armor pieces already um, so that does seem promising like maybe the game was just kind of super hard because I couldn't uh, upgrade but now that I can maybe it's much easier oh no it won't be much easier I took 200 something there okay so yeah I had to Use the plant and grapple onto it to access this top section. And now that I have it, I should have the final chest. Breath formula. Really? A rare oh, crap. find! I, I have no idea what popped up. Uh, but that was the last chest, so that's good. I'm just missing one completely undiscovered section somehow. Hmm. Wait, am I supposed to go up there? Yeah, so this is 
a place there, I don't think you can jump up without the plant there to grapple. So that is kind of like a special-ish area. But it's safe. Okay, so. Uh, I don't think there's anything else up there. But I think that's probably it. I can probably go back outside and see if I miss something. I don't see anything else here, so let's go back out here. Okay, let's go. And then let's go head outside. Wait. Oh no, run to the wrong one. I wanted to go out. Um switch map. Lecto Island. Yeah, okay. That's right. weird. Let's it says go. I'm missing like 23% of the map. But I don't see. 23% of the map unexplored. Instead, I see everything explored. I am missing a crystal cluster, so I think that is something that is probably in the cavern, so I probably missed some spot, maybe? Nope, that wasn't it. I think it's one of those giant cluster of, like, crystals that, uh, I saw and broke earlier, like, in the last part. Yeah, I feel like it's something that I'm gonna have to revisit later. Uh, as much as I don't want to, because I like to clear out each region. But I don't see anything that's visible that I would like have a 20% like more landmass to discover. So I'm clean like oh oh these skills. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so I feel like it's probably something that is like unlocked until a later portion of the game. Like you have to get some more skill to like reach that area or do something to unlock it, because I don't see anything left. Like, maybe I left something here. Yeah, but the game's starting to feel uh, different from the previous YS games. Um, like, you can start to feel like the game is pretty different from the original ones. Like the older ones, because be it's losing the whole like just guard, just dodge kind of systems, um, and becoming more of like a you you kind of prepare. Oh, like the game itself feels more like a Souls-like game to me than older versions, which was just like 100% reaction. There's still like perfect guard if I like tap that, but then the perfect dodge is no longer there. I think it has this like speed mode, which lets you dodge stuff really quickly if you hold on to L1. Um, so it's a little bit different. I don't know if I really like it, but at least I'm starting to get used to the systems. Um, it's a little bit of difference from the old game, so it took a little bit of getting used to it, but, uh, yeah, I can start to really grasp that. I mean, it's not bad. I, I do like the systems. Um, it's different, so it does take a little time to get good. Um, but now I think I've gotten the grass on it, and I think they've introduced most of the tools that you need. You don't see a lot more differences, like I think the core gameplay has been set up. So now it's just like kind of improving uh, skills and all that. Yeah, so like you can even dodge mid combos and stuff, and then it does a lot of damage, and looks awesome. So that's Okay, yeah, I'm done. I'm done with this area for now, I think. Wait, investigate Southern Waters? Oh! Oh! Well then yeah, I'm gonna okay, go here, because it's like go. right next to where I had to be, I didn't know. 
Okay. I just wish the ships were a little bit faster. It's so slow. I wonder if those red dots mean, like, there's an enemy raid if you walk there. Like, this is so slow. Ooh, faster, damn it. It's finally time to set sail. Let's get psyched. Okay, time for the ship. Now! Take the Whoa, they're like doing multi. Okay, uh, I think it makes more sense for me to take out the strongest ship first, right? So, like, I go blast them, shoot some special shots, I guess. Why does it like not have health? Whoa, I took so much damage. I don't see his health either. We're done for. What? Maybe I'm not supposed to attack that one because I don't even see health bars on that. Okay, I guess I'll, I'll try regular ships first then. Fire! How do you like that? Uh oh, oh I not missed. good. She wants this. Yo, that big ship is ridiculous. Like one hit took down almost all my health. I gotta say, I don't really like the ship combat yet. I'm sure it gets better later, but this part has not been very fun. Also kind of my fault because I'm playing on Inferno, so it even makes the ship's combat really difficult because I'm so weak. And I can't use like discard or like dodge or anything. So like it doesn't even have as much like of a skill ceiling. Um, which makes stats all the more important like and so it's becoming kind of frustrating to play because you can't like overpower the game with uh just being good at it instead you just have to really like like there's no skill involved in ship battle it's just you have to have good stats i don't know what else i'm supposed to do other than like hope they don't shoot the npc is not as good as it should be and i can end up Maybe get him by. Cause like my ship is so bad, and I don't have like any way to upgrade it right now. Cause we don't have upgrade paths yet. And like, like I could have gotten more of the special bullets. How do you like that? But I can't upgrade my ship anymore. I've kind of already tapped. Uh, I'm gonna use a repair kit. We're still in the oh game. no, I actually used a second one. Fire! Now! Uh. Fire! Fire the uh oh. Take the shot. There. Let's do We're one more heal. Out of special shots. Now! Yeah, so basically I can't kill anything other than using the uh, triangle, the special shot. Just like, the only thing that really does damage. I can board enemy ship. Oh, yes. Add uh, uh, board dash. Hmm. <clears throat> Certain powerful enemy ships have, have a durability meter. Attack and deplete the meter and press L1 on a stationary foe to charge it. Execute an abordage. During an abordage, you may eliminate all enemies. Um, you can loot any treasure kept on board. Oh. That's cool. 
I'm all out of my speed ammo. Though. Okay, dodge, dodge. No, what is that? That is so strong. Okay. Oh. It's board, board. Oh. Wait. Huh? Board! I pressed L1 and it made me go forward. Oh, you have to ram! Time to whip up some chaos, wave you one. Oh, it becomes yeah. a wave battle. Let's end this. Oh yeah, I forgot to equip the new skill. Mastered that, so now it's time for Frost Impact. Ooh, Hail Shot. Water Bolt. This is an upgraded Water Bolt. Wow, that looks really strong. Axe Flip, but Ice version. Okay, so these are basically just upgraded versions of your skills. Uh, I don't think I need Raid Slash anymore. Because it's essentially the same as Assault Raid, but not as good. wasn't too bad. So what happens? Oh, I get a chest. This treasure's <laughs> mine. Is it gonna be something awesome? Hmm. Huh? What is that? I have no idea what I picked up. Alright, but ship that strong. Belt up. Hold into the tyrant. Hey, what is the tire? Have you noticed, Daddle? The wind is strong. Get a handle on them? Oh, we can get a lot faster if we go with these currents. Oh, that's why the game is so freaking slow. Because there's a way to make it go much faster. No, no, no not really feeling a lot faster. Might be a use for Maybe it. a little bit faster? Hang on. Oh, but then I can... Oh, it restores the L1 much faster. Oh, okay. That's why this game is so damn slow in sailing. Because you unlock currents that make you go much faster. Okay, that makes sense. I don't like it, but I get it. The game is made to be super freaking slow in the ocean is because you can get these currents to make you go so much faster. And so they made it slow. Sail like there's no tomorrow. Whoa, lucky us. Hang on to your heads. Hey, it's our lucky day. Full speed ahead. Hey, you don't find these often. Thank 
Wait, how am I supposed to land on this island? Like, do I just go right onto the, the wreck? Disembark. Right. Oh, press Let's X. Disembark. Okay. First, oh, well, this island looks much bigger. Green stone, but it's covered in black. My asthma. Oh, why is that? Triggers handiwork, evil presence. Purify? Wait, how do you purify with mana? Oh, hold X. Oh. Oh, wow, new stuff, cool. Um, let's see, let's open the new lines first. This is a new skill, right? Aura Edge. Wait, Aura Edge? I think I remember that skill from previous game. It should be pretty good. Owl. Uh, spirit roar that sends enemies in range. Flying. Okay. That was pretty good. Let's see. Let's open these mana seeds. Uh, red drop. Oh, right. That's what a red drop is. You use them to make this stuff. Blue strong arm, armor seal. Yellow strong arm. <sighs> okay, let's just equip some of this stuff. Uh, let's see, I do kind of want red strong arm. Or actually, no, just the red seal. And then I guess, oh, or maybe, yeah, having one strong arm would be good. Uh, and this one, I can have blue strong arm. And armor seal. Making her a little bit tankier. Let's okay. catch our breath. Oh, yeah, yeah. Attack speed is so much slower with that. I don't know how I feel about that then. Red strong arm, maybe not. Maybe not, just a break seal. So, no, wait, I, he should be doing regular damage, so I don't need break. Yeah, it's so much faster. Her attack speed is actually not that different with the strong arm, I think. Let me just remove that and see. This is with no strong arm. And then this is with the strong arm attached. With strong arm, I think strong arm reduces attack speed by like 25%, which is not that much for someone that's already really slow to begin with. So I think she can use strong arm, but I can't give a, a strong arm to Adol because it makes Adol way too slow. But for her, because she's already slow, it doesn't feel as apparent. Like Adol is so fast compared to her. And so when you lower her attack speed, it doesn't really feel like there's too much of a difference because she's already slow. But for Addo, because he's fast, when you lower the attack speed, it's so much slower. Um, so yeah, I think I will cut, keep all these strong arm on um, Aja, Karja, and I'll keep Addo like, being fast and lucky. What was that? What is that? Like a werewolf? I'm gonna like Oh, this is probably someone that you can like absorb the thing from because it looks like he's wearing a mask. So it's like a, 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 
立ってたフェンスゲームはい。Maybe this is the doctor. Absorb! Purify! And then is it the doctor? 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 Nope,、oh, who the hell is this? You're that doctor from the Azrad Clinic.、Uh, uh, What? Wait, aren't you? Dr. Azrad, you're okay. Oh, Grin. That was my fishing boat. You see, after you all went back to the inn that evening, I decided to go out and cast a few nighttime lines. Huh? But didn't my pops tell you to stay on standby at the clinic? Just couldn't resist again, huh? Well, I. Yeah. Sorry. <sighs> Anyway, I'd just gotten off shore when I came across this strange black ship. There was this silver haired woman aboard, and I think she did something to me. That must have been Yurth. Right after that, I felt my body changing somehow, so I locked myself away in my ship's hold. From the symptoms, I thought maybe she'd infected me with some kind of plague. I see. And while you were locked up in the hold, the ship ran aground. How long has it been since that night? And what ended up happening with those wolves? Uh, about that. How, how can that be? Then what about my daughter? Where's Mirabelle? Mira was with the rest of us in the old shipyard. But then I ran off, and I don't know what happened to her after that. I'm sorry. We don't know where your doctor friend is either, do we, Adol? Flair, too? This is terrible. If this was how it was going to turn out, I'd rather have. No. <sighs> I suppose you're right. I'll need to find some way to make myself useful, too. By the way, I've been wondering about this ship. 
You said it's part of the Balta Sea Force, but you're the only ones manning it? That's right. Just the five of us. <laughs> and one bird. Our main forces can't leave Balta Island unattended at the moment. The situation's that bad then? <sighs> Karja, would you be willing to let me help out as part of the crew? Huh? There's still a lot about all this that I don't quite understand. But even so, I can't just leave things the way they are. Not as Karnak's chief physician, or as a father. In exchange, if at all possible, I only ask that you help my daughter, Mirabel. I'm told you tended to anyone who needed it, townsfolk or Norman, without discriminating. We can't afford to go out of our way, but if we run into her during our mission, we'll save her. That's more than fair. Thank you. <laughs> Miss Carter! It can't be. Where'd they even come from? W what's wrong, Ezer? Several enemy vessels approaching at three o'clock! It's the Undying Fleet! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Why are there so many? Adel, we need to move! Hard to port! Whoa, was that the hull? The tyrant! Enemy artillery fire! Incoming! Car's bones! I am called Other Kalborn. I request a battle with the two mana users. A new Grieger? <laughs> Seems that's really our only option here. Mm, so you help Saradol and Kaja. No hesitation. Good. I will not mince words as a logger does. Let us not delay to battle. Bring all oh. your strength to bear. Or I can't pronounce any of these things. Level 17, huh? Uh oh. Whoa. Uh -oh. Thanks. Uh oh. Wait, I'm not. I don't think I can beat him. Thanks. Oh, I have to get him down to a certain health. Oh, okay, this is gonna take. Me. Wait, I can't seem to block his. What? No, I did block it. Okay. Yes, I, I just missed time or something. Oh, it breaks through. Thanks. I'm coming to help. Messed up. Bring all your strength to bear. Two stage tap. Man, he hits so hard. Thanks. Oof. 
What is that? I think it looks like something I would want to run away from. Uh oh. I couldn't guard against it. Hmm, I don't really understand how to dodge that one because like the first hit you can kind of guard against but then it does a second hit so then the second hit is one that I can't dodge Oh, uh oh, that looks bad. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how to dodge against the second hit. Like, the first one breaks your guard, and then the second one... You can't really see me dodge. There has to be a way to dodge a dodge. I just don't know how. Thanks. Yeah, I thought this was gonna be like one of those like get the enemy down to half health and then it's done kind of thing, but do I actually have to beat him? Because I just don't think I'm even close. Okay. There's like a slight involved period once you swap characters from dying. So I've been abusing that. That's why I can like kind of revive. Just hold on to triangle and then they have like that one second involved period when you're swapping characters. Um, so I've been able to get uh, my characters like up before the get damage. Doesn't always work. Oh, oh he's in the grab. How do I dodge it? How do I dodge it? How do I dodge it? Oh okay, it's just close range. Hang in there, Bowser! Not good, not good, not good. Yeah. Oh, dodge shot. Uh -oh. I'm just spamming triangle and just reviving and dying because I can't guard in time after a revive. Uh oh. I screwed up the guard on that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Very good. Oh, right, that's the guard. Grab. Uh oh. Forgot to dodge that. Yeah, I don't understand that move, yo. Like, how am I supposed to dodge the second part of that? You have your Uh oh, what is this? Can I block this? Nope. Unblockable. Oh, I got set to one damage, one health. Okay. Oh, finally got I see. You communicate not with words, but through the mana that links you. No mana wielder I have fought across the years has ever possessed such a power. You fought them before? And yet... Damn it! You are Kaja, yes. You've some natural talent. Breathe deep and release the tension from your shoulders. I know not what holds you back, but you lack the composure to fight truly unfettered. What do you... When humans let their emotions lead, their vision narrows, their movements become predictable. Muscular exhaustion and the need to respire 
are basic limitations of your kind, are they not? Of what effect is a warrior of such physical frailty if they fail to wet their mind as well? Too slow to act. Adol, eh? Interesting. It seems you've overcome significant hardships despite your age. You've some skill with the sword as well. And yet, there is not more to you. I've faced countless foes far stronger than you, each of which I have shown to their graves. This bastard! He's in another league from your then Logger! There is no shame in defeat. You humans may yet learn and grow. As such, I will grant you another opportunity to defeat me. <laughs> Three months. Three months to kill me. Should you accomplish that, the Sea Serpent's curse will free you from its grasp. But should you fail this challenge, the Serpent's coils will wind ever tighter around your throat until you perish in agony. <gasps> Why would you do this? Because it is only when faced with death that you humans truly fight. As a Norman, you should understand, knowing their rules of battle, no. Damn you. The two of you have only just awakened to this new power of yours. Should you seek to defeat me, you must take it far beyond its current limits. Hone yourselves together, side by side. And Kaja, I've especially high hopes for you. Hold it! Adol, Kaja, grow strong. And once you do, come claim my life. He said he wants us to grow, but that doesn't mean he'll let us off easy. If we keep going this way, we'll get pulled into the tyrant! We can't. Worst case scenario, we get hit and the tyrant rips our hull to pieces. I know not what holds you back, but you lack the composure to fight truly unfettered. No way around it. We'll have to leave our fate to the tyrant! What? Uh, are you serious? Here's hoping we make it. I'm counting on you, Adol. Well, well. It would seem they've chosen correctly. Other has a bad habit of doing things this way, but at least it'll make for a rousing saga. That blasted Other. He truly vexes me. But even he won't keep me from that wench. Karja, you will meet your end at the hands of Yurth Dorson. So keep that pretty head of yours attached to your neck in the meanwhile. I'm actually kind of surprised that lady's wound didn't heal. It seems like her little scratch is still left by Karja is still there. So that's kind of interesting. I thought they could like heal back and stuff, but it seems like it's not always the case. What is the tyrant though? 
I assumed it was like a sea monster, like a kraken or something, but I don't see anything. It just seems like it posed your ship. But man, that previous boss was like so hard. Um, so that means I still have a lot of farming and leveling up to do. Way too strong. Wait, is this the tyrant's body? I mean, belly? What? So it is a monster then. Okay. Wait, split mana seeds? Oh, it basically lets me take the seeds that I'm not using apart. Okay, that's interesting. Let's get a sword seal plus one. And let's stick this back here. Okay. It should be a good spot to. Oh, fishing. Okay, fishing, press action, press X, X, uh, mash X against your catch, and then tilt left and right. Okay. Sounds easy enough. Let's okay. fish. Let's give it a shot. Go bite. Mash X, right? Okay, so I'm mashing X. Wait, is that it? That's oh, that's it, huh? pretty easy. What a small fish. Oh, that's it. That was just easy. You just spam X. Dr. Azrat? What is it, lad? Every time you'd run off to fish, Mira would go frantically searching for you. To be honest, I didn't think very highly of you for putting her through that. Oh, I see. I didn't really care for Karnak either, with the way the Normans lorded over all of us like they owned the place. And I hated the adults who were too terrified to defy them including my pops. <sighs> but if it hadn't been for him and Karja, I might have died in Karnak. If you hadn't been here to teach me to fish, I might have even starved. I know I've been an idiot, and it's pretty crappy of me to have taken so long to realize it, but I'm really grateful to both of you. Huh? <laughs> that had to have been the most grin way you could have put that. W what's that supposed to mean? Whenever a problem props up, you worry your heart out. Then spring into action and tackle it full force. Looking at you reminds me that I wasn't so different back when I was your age. Really? People. This world. They're surprisingly fragile. But in spite of everything out there that might break us, there's one thing for certain. The fact that right here, right now, we're still alive. Yeah. At times, you may feel as though you have no control over where your own life is headed. Hard to feel otherwise. What with all the injustice and inequality in this world. <sighs> but that's all the more reason why we have to do the best we can with what we're given. Wouldn't you say? <laughs> so that's why we're here fishing on the shores of a ship graveyard? Precisely. We may not be able to change the flow of the tyrant, but we can at least make sure we eat good tonight. We Normans call that making the choice to live. Makes sense. I guess we're all the same in that way. Anyhow, what do you say we get ourselves some grub already, huh? Good idea. Sounds like your stomach's already chosen to live. All right. Let's see who can catch the most fish, old timer. I'm going to bag at least a hundred. Big talk. 
but I won't go down easy. Let's see, fishing bait. Icon will appear at spots that contain fish you haven't caught before. You didn't tell me how to get bait though. Did I just buy it? Will that be a box lunch then? Will that please take care? Okay, I'm very curious on what happens if I use a healing item. So I went, I'm just gonna try to drop a save, and then I'll pop a heal. Okay, so I don't get a bottle back. So that means I can't make me a med. Oh. I wish you the. Oh, how do I... Okay, that's a good experiment. Oh, that's not my save. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm just here anyways. Okay. Okay, so whenever I use healing items, I don't get it back. Because I'm playing on Inferno. So that means I probably shouldn't. Oh, wow. These guys are hitting me so hard. That's not good. Okay, this is gonna be rough. Yeah. The enemies here hit so hard. Did I get a new combo skill?
Whew, okay. That is tough. Lots of enemies. Uh-oh. I'm actually surprised how tanky uh, Carter is once I gave her, like, the little blue um, mana lines, like mana releases. She's so much tankier than uh, Addo. Oh wow, this map is huge. I only have 13% done. Is this chest special? Ooh, and board. Oh, skateboard? Summons the wind to one's feet. Well, that sounds cool. Mana Ride. Press triangle to activate Mana Ride. Let's the guy class uh, surface waters and marshes to get where you need to go. Mana Rails get you places normally not accessible. Oh, oh, that's cool. It's instant. Oh. Oh, that's handy. Very quick. Wait, it actually damages enemies? Oh, that's fine. Taking so much damage. And then I don't have Karja to help me like prevent myself from dying, so that's gonna be bad. Just try to move past everything quickly, because I don't have the, uh, I don't have Carter to save me from dying in one hit, so I just don't want to be too risky here. Still want to get all the treasure chests, though. I'm still going to try and get all of those. Oh, this looks like a 
the chest luck elixir do i like get to improve oh i get to Looks improve valuable. my luck stat nice wow permanent stat things are still something that exists i know i'm definitely gonna boost Addo with all of it I don't really understand why sometimes, like, this skateboard thing goes really fast and then sometimes it doesn't. Uh-oh. No. Oh, at least a checkpoint hit me. Nice. Okay, I have to get over to this chest and this chest. Oh, I'm not considered as running, so I can't dodge. Um, uh, wait, I think I'm stuck. Let's make tracks. Grab that. But there's a lot of enemies nearby. So I don't know if I can easily get that. No, so close. I almost got that one. Breed. I wonder if I can actually grab that. Oh. But I wonder if I can grab that chest without having to kill that one. Because like I don't think they actually do a lot of attacks. They just spray and kind of like hop around a little bit. Like it's just mainly this plant that's causing my deaths. So as long as I make sure to kill this one, it should be fine, right? Like this one, all it does is just spray weird stuff. So technically, if I just examine the chest... Oh no, why? Okay, they're probably in the way. Yes! A rare find! 
Okay, so I have to loop all the way over. How do I get to that one? Not here, I don't think. I have to go back over that one. As you can see, I'm feeling fit as a fiddle today. It's been a while since I was able to make it over here to my favorite fishing spot. Ho oh, ho, not too bad if I say so myself. It's my favorite spot for a reason. In fact, I used to go ocean fishing back home all the time. Ah. Now, where was that again? Ah, well. How about it, lad? Get a toss in a line and chat for a bit? Oh, what's that you've got there? Mind if I have a look? This appears to be a map of Viewpoint Isle, I believe. Hmm. Ah, I thought I recognized this. It's one of the maps I drafted myself. Have a look. Do you see the X's marked on it here and there? These X's are... Uh, these X's are... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I just can't seem to recall. Oh, thank you for going to the trouble. My health's been much better recently, so I keep expecting that my memories will come back too, but... Uh, alas, at any rate... It seems like the map would be best left with you, Adol. Already, hmm? Would that you could stay and chat a while longer. Come back and visit me again sometime, Adol. Swap. Oh, I can. I can swap over to uh, using that mana line after like using the. Uh... Okay, so my hands are actually very like my controls because like I'm swapping between L1, R2, and like square, triangle, L2, and all that, like with blocks and all that. So like it makes your because I'm not like doing a recording or like viewing what buttons I'm pressing. There's actually a lot of button inputs here 
uh, which makes this game pretty interesting because like normally action games you have like you know the core square x circle l1 r1 and then like that's about it this one is making me use like absolutely every single button like if they try to add any more mechanics into the game i would need extra moves to be able to do it um i feel like this is probably the cap um but i mean the game's been surprising me with even more mechanics i don't know how useful they are but i can definitely see the um this little like wave board thing useful during boss fights because like one of the issues i couldn't um, handle was like when i was fighting the i forgot his name but the big guy who was like using his little double smash attacks i couldn't get away after blocking one of the attacks so now with like this maybe this little um wave board i can now cover enough distance to be able to actually maybe dodge an attack but i don't know wow like literally time to like the moment I rescue someone I die. Yeah, so it lets me get like cover a little bit of a distance very quickly. But it does feel like it's kind of useful. But I don't know how useful yet. Thanks! Yeah, interested in seeing how that's gonna help with uh, boss fights. I feel like it's gonna be very useful. Uh oh. Hang in there, Kaja. Sorry to put you out. Let's make tracks. Have you? Uh oh. Whoa, jump tap. It's crazy. Let's see, how close am I to mastery for these skills? Not close at all. Oh! Heat wave, level 55, lightning saber. Oh, I can get this first. That looks really cool. Okay, I want to level that. Uh, knockback slam, invincible upon activation. Uh, what I really wanted to do was look at this, though. Okay, I can unlock one more slot. Uh, let's stick in one more defense thing. Yeah. Uh, and then for here, let's put in... Uh, one of these. Optimism. Strong arm. Sure, let's get a strong arm in there. The attack's slower right now, right? Yeah, a little bit slower. <laughs> this is one nifty antique. I'm into it. Bet it'll come in handy exploring the rest of the island. Looks Gale valuable. Boots. That's an equipment, right? Yeah. Luck plus three counter damage upon dodging speed attacks plus 25%. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Uh, sure, let's go swap it. No, burn afflicted. Skill. Yeah, I guess I'll leave that for later. Okay. What is this for? Like, for healing? Sanctuary? Oh, it's a shop. Falcon Tar. Oh, new weapons. Nice. I do want that. We so finished let's here. Upgrade. We finished here. Upgrade. Paralysis. Uh, paralysis on falls. This could be useful. 
Uh, doesn't seem like I need anything else. Shell armor and scale coat I have. I guess I can buy one of these you just here. To... Why you're not walk? <laughs> oh, but we don't have any blacksmith, so I can't upgrade my gear. How's that? <laughs> oh wait, yeah, I can. I can go back to um, who's that guy called? Like Ez Ezer or something? The the servant. He has like a Oh, I got to level 20. I can upgrade the, uh, the release. Oh. Have you? Switch! Uh oh. Hang in there, Roger. Go, let's go, let's go. Sorry to put you out. Uh-oh. Come on, try to I need to really find like a uh, one of those healing stones. Wow, knockback spam is really good. Oh, I almost fell. Something's there. What's there? Huh? What? Oh, I guess he was talking about the the chest. Let's make tracks. Analyze. Get it over without falling. Huh? Oh. Who said I was afraid? Too many enemies here. Let's grab this thing first before I forget, because it doesn't show up on the map, so I don't want to miss that. Um, there's a chest here, so let's open that. Sword seal. Oh, awesome. That, um, AoE knockback is actually extremely good. Seems like all knockback spells are very good because they can, like, really push back everything around you. Uh, other than, like, those really, uh, strong mobs. But then it buys you some time so you can, like, uh, relax a little bit, which is awesome. I'm really liking these AoE attacks. And you can, like, kind of, like, wreak havoc on them because they take time to get back up. Oh, but man, Inferno is actually very difficult. Uh, I'm still playing on Inferno. I don't. Oh, new skill. Yes. Dual of Cliss's Burst. Uh, fire a coil of fireballs and water orbs. That sounds pretty cool. Okay, let's unlock more mana lines. Always need more. Uh, I'm just going to give her even more armor, because why not? Uh, and then for Edo, I guess I'll give her more, him more damage. Or do I need this? More luck. More damage. Sure. Let's do that. Uh, so right now I'm making Addo into like a glass cannon, basically. It does a lot of damage, and then Cardra is the user who does a lot of, uh, I guess, she's more of like a pressing square heavy attack slow damage but very strong kind of thing and eventually i think i'll give her the yellow tree which is like more sp efficient and stuff like that i think that's the idea 
Turn the line, gets me over here. Oh, and then there's a chest yeah. there. Oh. Oh, I have to do a mid-air swap. That is... That is some maneuver. Okay, I really like how they kind of changed the dungeon thing. Like, normally, it's not as uh, fast-paced. Like, you have a little bit more reaction time to do, like, a lot of these things. But, like, now it's much quicker. Oh! Whoa, that's an awesome item. Uh, oh. Okay, let's see. I want to add max SP so everyone gets that. This one, I am going to give it to Ado. Yeah, I don't remember having, like, um, that much... Like, that much of a need to, like, do mid-air reaction-based moves in old YS games. Like, it used to be pretty straightforward. But now you actually have to react pretty quickly, otherwise you miss, like, these jumps. So that is kind of cool. Huh? How am I supposed to get up there? Wait, wait, wait. I don't see... I don't see the way. Definitely have to use this, right? And then you flip over here. But that's not giving me the momentum I need to just, like, jump up there. Unless I'm supposed to hold on to L2 and grapple onto that? And then spin, maybe? I don't know. Wait. So, like, I can grab onto this, but it's not getting me the, the speed I need. I'm not even going close to it. Okay, so how do I get up there? Oh. Oh, and then I guess the mana line goes. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Puzzles, nice. Glad to see the puzzles are still back. Yeah. Okay, let's ride. Why is there like no um, those hewn stones? There hasn't been a single one, so like I can't go back to the base to like try and uh, upgrade my stuff and come back. I haven't been able to like, find a teleportation location. There should be one soon though, because like, it's been so long. Oh yeah, I can actually try out the new move. Let's try that. Uh, what is it? Dual cast? Ooh, whoa, that looks so cool. That looks awesome. Man, I can't wait till I get to, like, late game. Like, this is still kind of early game, and this attacks are already looking so freaking amazing. This feels great, shield brother! No, I got knocked off. Okay, let's ride. I have to go back. Oh, I don't want to fight that one. Wait, can I actually get anything there? Oh. You okay in there, Karja? Thanks. Let's well, knock everyone away. Oh, I can't get back up there. This location wasn't it. Yeah, her. This heavy attack thing is not working. Yeah, I'm trying. Like, I have to boost my frost attack to be able to like get them frost ailment to, to do extra damage. Oh, I can't apply the frost. Ailment. Oh, that probably is, that's probably why later skills are elemental based. Sorry. So right now I really can't do much on trying to apply elements, right? Thanks. How about this? These are just cool looking. It's not elemental based. It looks really cool though. Okay, I have to ride this back because I couldn't get to the chest. 
What? Okay, there we go. Okay, let's ride this back and then open the chest. Basic craft stuff. That's another uh, Giger. The one with like one of the citizens. I wonder if that's the other Giger. Okay, how far am I with the map? Oh, only 36%. Wow, how big is this map? This island is huge. Okay, so I can go in there first. Oh, Hinstones. Peace. I can finally go back to base camp. Wait, why can she absorb? Wanna take huh? a break here? How come she got a point? Oh, is do you get a point based on who you use to absorb that? Hmm, oh, I don't know. The SP cost discount for luck spam. Or I could go with this and get damage mitigation, which actually sounds really useful as well. Hmm. I think I'm gonna wait for that. I don't know what I want to do with that yet. Uh, oh, unlock a new skill. This is an uppercut, I think. Rising slash. Let's go. Rising slash. And then let's stick in. Damage dealt after M burst. Damage mitigation. Okay. Boomerang X. That sounds really good. Also sounds like a AOE attack. Okay, so now I have this checkpoint. I am going to switch back to the cave map. No. Huh? What the heck? Lock, 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 lock. Wait, how do I go back to the original map? See chart? Oh, right. going back to the Let's beach. Go. Okay. Right, good. So, I can probably go back to this guy, Ezer, 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 oops, come on, come on, come on, Switch. yes, Tell new me. type of medicine, breath water, yeah, but I don't even have empty bottles, I can't make any bottles, so I can't use then? any of this stuff, okay, uh, main point really was to upgrade, so let's May upgrade, upgrade, useful. Upgrade, 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 upgrade,
It's also very cheap. It costs like 15 SP, which is amazing, considering how much damage it does. Rising Slash 2. I really like these fast spells, because they're also like really crowd controlling. You can't even move. Feels kind of broken, but I think it, it's not going to be as good on bosses. So the... yeah, I don't know. It says these all say leaves an empty bottle, but because I'm playing on uh, Inferno, it doesn't leave empty bottles. So no empty bottles after using items. So what I have is what I get. That's why it's been I've been like super conservative with uh, using any items because usually items are going to be like basically a game changer at the last bosses for YS because YS games uh, the final boss is usually where it gets really crazy. So I'm saving all of my items for the final boss, and I'd rather just not use any items to fight early bosses because. I'm just so concerned about not being able to get any bottles back because it doesn't feel like I make bottles. Um, yeah. If I don't get bottles back for using items and I can't seem to like buy items, then I need to conserve all my items uh, to avoid getting stuck at uh, an ending boss. I was like not as conservative for um, the ship repair kits because I know you can buy the ship repair kits because I already saw it. That's why I use the, the ship kits. But I haven't been able to see a bottle that I can buy, so I don't want to use it until I can see that I can buy empty bottles. Uh, just in case. You never know. Let's make tracks. Yeah, but Inferno is starting to feel manageable. It's just the early game that was like extremely difficult. Now I feel like it's manageable, um, but I'm, maybe I'm speaking too soon. Or, um, but right now it feels good because I'm sufficiently leveled. I upgraded my stuff, so it's feeling really fair now. I'm not getting one shot anymore, um, so that's good. Oh, it's locked. But I can't get the chest there. Hmm. Ooh, this map is a little bit confusing because it's like wor uh, warping between the two layers. It's swirling around so much. So fast. A treasure chest. so good against like area attacks. Like, you can hit everything in the huge area. That is so good. 
Lucky me. Shoot. Okay. This opens that little gate, maybe? Nope, it unlocks a jumping pad. Oh, this map is so confusing because it loops everywhere. But I think since I unlocked that jumping pad, let's go for the jumping pad. Uh, I guess I can jump over there, right? Yep. Oh, no! Oh, I can just walk down here. You... Let's make okay, jumping pad brings the oh it brings the up here so it's like a shortcut so in case I like fall off something I can jump over oh like this I see and then it lets me loop -de loop oh, and I can go back over over here okay which brings me over here and then jump over here here and then this is the next area. Which I don't actually want to go, because I want to unlock that gate, which I think is this one. Yes! Which I can then jump down and get the... Yeah, launch pad into the chest, open the chest, and then launch back backward. Let's make tracks. Boom! Into the chest I go. Uh, armament blueprint fireball. What? Oh, that's probably a Looks ship. Valuable. Oh, ship upgrades are found in dungeons. Did I explore everything? I want to say yes, I did. Yeah, I don't see anything there. And everything else here looks like... Okay, I think I explored everything so we can move on. We're pretty far in now. Some progress... How far are we? 60%. island would be nice. So we're very close, actually. Okay, how far am I from mastering these skills? Pretty far. Um, this one's close. 72%, 39, 18, 37. Oh, wow. Why is the long-range attack actually, like, so much harder to upgrade? It's so slow compared to, like, I've been using it so much and it's still just only, like, 19%, which is crazy. Heartfire Tomb. What is that? A tactical tome of a hero of your reading it kindles the heart. Revenge gauge maximum multiplier plus two, 0 0.2. Oh! Well, lucky me. You can get damage so high. Max of five. Wow. Oh, this gives the XP. I don't know if I really need that though. Like, 100 EXP doesn't really feel like it's that much. How much is 100 EXP? I don't even know how much EXP you need. Oh, 3,000. Oh, 100 is so little. You need 3,000 for one level up, and you get 100 from using the sweet remedy. What? Get this done! Switch! How's that? 
Let's go. Nice. Go. Okay. Dance. Yep. Launch pad. Let's go. Ooh. Boss time. Let's purify. Okay, so I feel like each time I purify, depending on who I'm using, it changes the uh, reward. So, like if I'm using Harja, I get. Archer points. If I'm using Addo, I get Addo points. Uh, which isn't like super useful for me to know, uh, because I don't really care. I use both. Um, but if you're like specifically targeting like maybe just Addo, then you might need to pay attention to that part. But for me, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. Uh, okay. I, I do want to have even more of this, like, yellow stuff. Yellow lucky stuff. So, let's just keep on building yellow tree. Uh, let's see. Four, four, four. This is a five. Uh, I probably don't want to have too many of that. So, I will switch over this tree to become a yellow tree. And then over here, I will... Place it with oh wait no I check and upgrade it because I have extra red strong arm yes and here I can put in a red strong arm and this one I can put in seal seal plus seal plus um and then let's have one more sword unlock that later okay more blue stuff so uh details I don't really get the ability to detail things, but I'm having more trees of this, and it feels like I'm significantly tankier. Um, so I feel like I'm on the right track, Let's even though I don't really get it. Um, this is a boss fight, so I'm just going to drop a quick Brass. save here, and then let's go take on that boss. Uh, I drop a save because you can't like go back to the previous save point if you don't have a save there. So. The debris around... Sure would have been Very easier dangerous. if there was a whole if ship we could save, salvage from. Might get stuck on a boss fight. Adel, look over there. No doubt about it. Let's move. Switch. Oh, I reused that heart <laughs> fire tool. thing guess it's the top dog here on this island well since we're gonna be staying here a bit I guess we better greet our host magna Diva. oh Not good. I can't get out. Ooh. Okay, so speed dodge worked. Now. Nice. Three thousand. Hey. That was awesome. Uh oh. Oh, I finally got hit. This boss doesn't feel too difficult. Maybe I'm speaking too soon. Uh -oh. Ooh, that was close. Almost got me. Ah! This is so annoying. His ultimate suck. Can't really get away even with the speed. Oh. I don't understand how that like super strong dodge attack works, 
Like, maybe I have to do like a perfect dodge or something. It still didn't let me have like a super counter. I don't understand how that part works. Like, if I can consistently pull that off doing the 3000 damage thing, I would be so strong. But I don't understand how it works. Uh oh, uh oh, this is not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. No idea how to do the quick dodge thing, like the whole quick dodge plus square to do like a super counter attack. I just don't understand how to trigger that version of it. I don't know if it's like a, a perfect dodge only thing, so like if I leave till last minute, yeah, it still didn't do anything. I don't know. I don't get it. Oh. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, good, I'm safe. That was close. This boss is definitely not hard, it's just taking me a while because like, it's so tanky. How much damage does this do? Not that much. Oh wow, it's, it jumped out. Uh oh. Oh no, I died! No, I have to do that again. Uh. I wonder if I can block the, the attack with- Oh, I can! Oh, I can block this attack. Well then, yeah, of course I'm going to just wait here. I'm not going to try to run. I can just guard it. Yeah, why would I attack? Like, why would I run from it? I can, like, dish off a little bit more damage. Right? Yeah, okay, this is going to make the boss fight so much faster. Oh, I didn't know. Like, it looks so intimidating, right? Because it's going to eat you. And then I was like- Trying to dodge, but I don't have to dodge. I can just uh, just run right up to it and block. Uh oh. Oh, but when she dies, it's so hard to revive because I keep getting shifted around. Don't think this is probably the right way to play it. Oops. Still 
I was almost a goner. At least you don't have to be like in duo mode to uh, block that attack, you just have to block. I did swap characters while I was holding on to L L1, which is Sprint. I wonder if that's how you do it. I, did, I was swapping to Addo while I was uh, running. Yes, I can. Hang in there, oh, I think it's gonna slam it. Oh, damn. Oh, oh. Damn it. Okay, this boss is definitely not hard to fight. I just didn't know the attacks that it I tried to perfect guard it, but I messed up. Oh, you're kidding. Try held the R2 button, but didn't block it. Ah, this is annoying. Uh, 
When I get debuffed, I can't use my um, skateboard. So I can't use the skateboard when I'm under this weird, uh, weird, slow or heavy debuff. The heavy debuff sucks. Because I can't even like. Doing the slam attacks. I was almost a owner. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. It's going through! What? Oh, screwed up. Damn. Hang in there, Hodja. Get back on your feet. Hang in there, Hodja. Hang in there, Hodja. Come on, come on, come on. Get good. Hodja's alive. Oh. What? Sorry. Oh, what? I was almost caught. It broke through. What? I think that's it. What? Oh, okay. Same pattern again. Okay, I'm getting very close. What? I think I just have to take it very easy, and I should. Be what? I think I should be very close. Oh, I get it. When it starts having this animation of the sucking thing starting to slow down, that's when you can do the perfect guard. Oh, uh, it took me so long to realize that. Damn. Slam attacks now? Yes, it is. Do... Oh no, I should have been more passive. Oh, I think I can. Oh no, timed it. Ah, oh, so close. I could have. Okay. Okay, now I can counter it here, but I don't understand how this triggers. If I could understand how the critical hit version of that triggers, that would make it so much easier. Because, like, normally I get this regular version, which doesn't have a cool animation and doesn't do as much damage. What triggers the super high damage? Ooh, that's tight. Not here. What? Total 
really blocked. Why did it not work? Tough it out. Not here. Wait, can perfect guard be used mid combat? I think I tried, did that just now. I always thought like that had to be very passive, but that's only for if you're doing a regular guard, right? I'm just testing uh, something. Just attacking and then triggering. Oh no, you still have to be here. passive. Okay, never mind. Cause like I'm trying to trigger the perfect. Oh, no wait, you can trigger it, but it, it just doesn't. Um... Oh. I don't really understand it. Cause when I'm trying to trigger is the, the little purple shield thing that appears, and it kind of appears while you're attacking. Like it works, but then it's not like it always works. So I don't really get it there's probably like a timer but it doesn't show anywhere hmm. just still slowly figure out the thing that I mean. Oops. This time I can counter. I think it's just maybe RNG. I didn't do anything special. I just held R L1, which is the, the sprint thing. Okay. Best up. So annoying. Button for the. I wonder if I can change the config. Like I, tr I'm trying to rescue, but then they keep on like using mana ride. So that is not ideal. What's the default for that again? Square is the default, so it goes with switch. And since I want to switch to be circle instead of uh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So it doesn't overlap then. Okay, switch and rescue is the same button, so it won't overlap with triangle. Uh. Yeah, because you can't switch when they're dead anyway, so that doesn't matter. Okay. Definitely better. Not a 
Yeah, because it's no longer overlapping with the little mana ride. So it's much easier for me to really get my uh, rescue button. Like, I, I'm 100% getting rescue instead of accidentally triggering the little keyboard here. Uh-oh. No. Get back on your feet. Thanks. It broke through. Oh, Mister. Hey, I'm not too late. Did he get you? Hope I'm not too late. Yeah. Hit. Still got some fight in you, right? I was almost calling her. Uh oh. Back on your feet. Thanks. Oh, this is not good. I can't jump. I can't use my skateboard. What? So I have to guard. Oh, double hit. Uh oh. Get back on your feet. Sorry to put you out. Lock that. Oh, oh, that was close. Oh no, it's a double hit. What? I was pressing R L R2, but then it didn't trigger because I was trying to also save battle. Oh, I don't like how like sometimes you can't do like double button presses. That has gotten me so many times. I really don't think this boss is that difficult, but I just keep on running into the same issue over and over. Again. Oh, 
Oh, I actually got a miss. I totally missed the timing there. Double hit. Actually able to like get multiple blocks in a row. Feels good. Come on, put the guards multiple times in a row. Wait, can I just kind of loop this until I win? He's not really doing his slam attack because I keep on doing the perfect attack. Oh, whoops! Screwed up there. Oh, screwed up there again. Because of, oh no, I screwed up big time there. Yeah, because if I could have like just, if I could have kept him in that loop, he wouldn't use his slam attack, which is what's really killing him. But I think he's going to use his slam attacks. So I'm going to just hang back. He like sprayed dirt on me and made me really slow. Ah, I gotta do it again. But, uh, that was really close. I almost got it. It's just I screwed up. 
Again. Okay, let's try that again. It did really good last time, but just keep like it kept on countering his uh, slam attack, but then oh, I screwed up now. Oh yeah, I keep on forgetting to use our L2 to like just jump onto him. Gotta tough it out. Not here. Oops. Slam attacks. Uh oh. Hey, stay 
Not right. oh, good. Okay, good. Switch. Managed to revive him. Okay. Okay, so if I perfect guard, I can actually survive the big slam attack. This is going to be double hit. But the problem is having to do the perfect guard. Okay, so perfect guard really does let me survive a uh, double slam attack. Good to know. You just have to perfect guard. Because the perfect guard lets you not break guard, and then you can block the second hit. Yeah, okay. Okay, so perfect guard. Let's you do the side guard. Oh, damn it. Got missed. Okay. Oh. oh. No, this is so annoying. I can't see anything because it's off of mud. Like these special bosses, I prefer like the most, uh, the more humanoid ones in all the YS games because these ones give me so much trouble. And like as you can see, this is why like the mechanics are actually not that difficult. It's very straightforward actually, but I'm just spending so much time on it because for some reason it's just really difficult more for me to fight uh, non-humanoid bosses or like really awkward shaped bosses with like weird mechanics. And that's the same for like even Dark Souls games too. Like some of the easiest bosses are those like weird gimmicky ones, and they're always the hardest for me because I'm not used to fighting like non-humanoid ones. That's it, that's it, that's it, yes! Oh, oh man. This took me so long.
Done and dusted. Adel, up top. I'm really starting to get used to working with you. Let's keep it up, shield brother. Aye. It won't be long before we gotta fight those three Grieger generals again. But if we keep getting better at this pace, I know we'll blow them out of the water. Anyway... Time to pick up where we left off. Let's follow that thing to the boat it ran toward. Oof, okay. Well, um, you know, uh, I think I'm gonna end it here. Like, normally I like to finish an island, uh, with one, basically, video, but... I took, like, one hour on this boss, so, uh... I'm recording a little bit longer than I expected, so... Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.